Good morning, everybody, from Petro Pass, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. How are you guys doing? How's 2023 treating you so far? So far, treating me like a rock star. We've been on this trip for a couple days now. We picked this load up in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. We crossed through from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, across the international border yesterday. Now to get these six drops off my trailer between today and tomorrow. I'm gonna get Sault Ste. Marie off right away, then we're gonna go over to Sudbury, Ontario, get another bunch of crates off there, and then I have four more drops, which I, I can get them all done tomorrow if I have to. I got the time, they're all within like an hour of each other or so. But if I can get another one off today, that'd be great, then I only have three to do tomorrow. We'll see what we can do. Let's get out there. All right, old blue. I just called the location where I'm going. They're expecting me. It's always important that they're expecting us. Trailer brakes work. Trailer is attached. Trailer brakes release. Now we can start the day. Oh, 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 is this guy gonna go in front of me? Oh, oh. Not today. This is a new travel plaza. I thought it was new when I stopped here last night. I got a Burger King in here. And a Petro Canada convenience store or BVD. I guess not Petro Canada. Convenience store, it's a BVD convenience store. They're Owned by the same people. The Timmy's right across the street over there. Very convenient. No crosswalk though, not so convenient, so be careful. That guy over there is coming out the entrance. I wonder which way he's going. He's coming this way. Well, I'm going that way. street here is the Flying J. That's where I fueled up last night actually. But the parking lot was full. There's a few empty spots actually, but I didn't feel comfortable parking in them. They were very tight. I mean, I could have totally parked in them. I didn't feel comfortable because I knew the drivers beside me would be leaving before me in the morning and I didn't want them to drag the trailer into my hood. So I had 22 crates on my trailer. I dropped two off here. That leaves 20. I can math, don't worry. You hadn't, you were doubting me there for a second. I was just holding the suspense. 20 crates left on our trailer. My next delivery in Sudbury is taking 10 of them. So half of the rest of my load is going into Sudbury. I'll only have 10 left on my trailer after that. Four drops tomorrow. I might even get one of those done today. So the first one's done here. I'm just gonna have my breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet. Had a, have a nice bowl of oatmeal back here. I think it's ready to go already. Yep. I've got my coffee made here. And uh, I called the next place where I'm headed to already. Let them know what I had for them. Let them know I was coming. Ask them if there's any special, uh, like first of all, before I call them, I always Google map their location so that I know what they're talking about when they tell me, oh, come in this way or come in that way. So when I call a customer, uh, before I call them, I would recommend you do this too if you want to. Uh, Google their, their yard if you haven't been there before. So I did that and he called me and then he explained how they would like me to get in there, where they would like me to park. It's kind of a tight lot, so I'm glad I did that. So when I get there, I know what I'm doing and I'm not having to park in the middle of the street and run in and be like, ah, how do I get in here? Or, you know, get in there and then not be able to get out very easily. So we are prepared. They are prepared. I'm prepared. My oatmeal's prepared. Are you prepared? We're all prepared. It's going to be a good day. Sault Ste. Marie. Seventeen east. That's what we're gonna follow. We're gonna take seventeen all the way through to Sudbury. 
Oh, we got a red light. We don't want to park over these railway tracks. So our stop line is way back here. Hopefully nobody gets too clever and sneaks in front of me. It's, it's happened almost every time I'm here. I mean, if you were a car, why not, right? I mean, you cut in front of me there, you're not gonna slow me down. Light turns green, you're gone before I even start rolling. I get it, I get it. And it's green. Hopefully we get to the intersection before it turns yellow. see nothing's changed it's all still exactly the same when was the last time I was in Sault Ste. Marie was it two years ago maybe three is before COVID I bet I guess once COVID hit I stayed closer to home mainly because you know everybody scared the living daylights out of everybody nobody knew what was going on and then once we realized everything was okay you know things sort of got back to normal a little bit but at the beginning there, we didn't know what was happening, so I, I stayed a lot closer to home then. So I think it was before COVID. No, no, I went through here. I was still trucking then. I think about two years ago is when I was here last. That's new though. Giant Tiger, is that, was that there before? Oh, something's new here. Good for you, Sault Ste. Marie. to get into that lane but it's just packed full of cars right now very often going through these towns I stay in the left because they don't clear the snow banks fully out of that right lane and sometimes I run out of lane and I uh, just stay in this lane just to avoid that okay I'm gonna let this dodge past me here and I'm gonna sneak in behind him Get in the proper lane, trucker Josh. You happy now? There you go. Everyone's happy. It's a very mild day today. It's one degree Celsius. It's like 35, 34 Fahrenheit. It's nice.
Ontario. We got three deliveries done today. Got three more to do tomorrow. Just barely made it to the last one. Got there 10 minutes before they closed down. They unloaded me though. I did give them a heads up before I got there that I would be there. I didn't just show up then. So now I'm gonna see if I can find a parking spot. Somewhere safe, quiet. I'm gonna try a uh, Husky Esso here first. Across the street to the Petro Pass. I went across the street. Better parking here. This whole lot is practically empty. I don't know why nobody wants to park here. Is it just because it's gravel? Maybe it's because I'm from the prairies that gravel parking lots don't bother me? I mean, I'd rather have paved, but it's not dusty right now and my truck's already dirty and filthy anyway. People out here, they want the pavement. I feel, I feel them. I always want the pavement too, usually, but today is a different day. We're parking on the gravel today because there's lots of room. I got no neighbors here. There's a drop trailer on the other side of me here. So zero neighbors today. <laughs> and that's good because uh, I got to work on the computer here for a little bit and then go to bed. I want to have a nice quiet night. Tomorrow we're getting these three drops done. We're here in New Liskard. Our second drop will be in Timmins, Ontario. And our third drop will be in Capus Casing, Ontario. So bang, 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 they're not too far apart. We'll get them done by uh, early afternoon, I think. And hopefully by that time, we have a direction to head for my next load. We got no reload yet, but uh, I haven't called in for one either. So first thing in the morning tomorrow, I didn't know if I'd be done tomorrow yet. I, I wanted to be sure, because if I call in and say, hey, I'm ready for a reload tomorrow afternoon, and then I'm not ready, we're disappointing a customer who's expecting me to be there, right? I wanted to be sure that I could be there. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. It was fun running around. Glad I had you guys here to keep me company. Otherwise, it would get really lonely out here on the road. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me something about yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be headed around Highway 11. Maybe back west. Maybe they'll send me east for a reload. Who knows? You're going to have to tune in tomorrow to find out.